This comes out of section 5.6, slant asymptotes. For this example, we're going to take a look at this function, uh, y equals x plus 1 plus 1 over x. Uh, the, the graph for this function is kind of, uh, kind of interesting. And I'll talk about that first, and then we'll talk about y in a second. It has definitely a non-permissive value at 0, and we would, if we did further testing, find it does have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. So it heads up on the one side and down on the other side. And then it kind of um, has something unusual, which is it has an asymptote that appears to be on a slant. Um, so it kind of approaches this imaginary line here and gets closer and closer and closer to it. If you think about it this way, if, if I did the limit as x approaches infinity of x plus 1 plus 1 over x, as x got really, really, really large, this 1 over x piece of this function really becomes smaller and smaller and smaller to the point where it becomes essentially irrelevant. Even if you put in a number like 100, essentially you have 100 plus 1 plus 100, so 101.01. Um, you know, if you put in a million, it becomes even more irrelevant. A million and one point zero 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 one. Um, so you can see that this asymptote, the actual equation of it, is just y equals x plus one. That as this graph approaches larger and larger numbers, the curve actually approaches the shape of this straight line y equals x plus one. So um, if it's given in this form, it's easy, but really it turns out that this function is x squared plus x plus 1 over x. Uh, it, it can be c considered to be a rational function, a, a, d a numerator and denominator, both polynomials, and more specifically, the degree in the numerator is one greater than the degree in the denominator. Um, for any rational function that fits that description, you can find the slant asymptote by doing division, by saying, well, what happens when I divide x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x? Now, in this case, you wouldn't need to do long division the way that I am, but you have x, x times x is x squared, um, and then I, I would need plus 1, because 1 times x is plus 1x, and, you know, after that, I've got a remainder, and so, you know, my division statement would say that I've got x squared plus x plus 1 divided by x equals x plus 1 plus 1 over x. But these, these two functions that I've described up above here are the same thing. Um, but what happens is when you do the division that way, what you get on the top turns out to be your slant asymptote because the other piece of it as x approaches infinity, um, this is going to approach zero, right? It's, this value is going to be zero. And so the, the graph will approach the, the straight line, in this case, that, we, that we'll get from this. So let's try another example here in the next one.